Hi guys, I'm Dahlia and today we are making vegan manicotti. <laughs> Okay guys, so vegan manicotti, you're probably thinking, this isn't gonna taste like cheese. Well, yes, it is. I'm telling you, follow this recipe to the tea and you're gonna have delicious manicotti that, and the filling really, really resembles like a cheese, cheesy ricotta filling. It's amazing. Now, there are some different weird ingredients in here. You might be scared, but don't be. I'm telling you, it's gonna come together. It's gonna be so good. It's not gonna have that funny smell or taste that many of the vegan cheeses have that you would buy in the grocery store. So I'm just so, so excited to share this with you. And now, let's get started. There are three things that you need to prep before beginning the process of making your manicotti. So first off, you want to put your tofu onto some paper towel, drain it, put it on a paper towel, put a paper towel on top, and then put a heavy can on top, and just let it sit like this for about 10 minutes to a half hour. And this will just allow all that extra water to come out of the tofu so the tofu is a little bit drier and just not filled with as much water. Then we have our second thing we have to prep, which is the vegan flax egg. Now, if you're not vegan, you could use a regular egg in this recipe, but I'm telling you, this flax egg is awesome and it really works like an egg. So you guys have gotta try if you're vegan. And it works perfectly in this recipe to bind the cheese filling. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna take one tablespoon of ground flax seed and just put it into a bowl. And you can grind your own flax seeds or just buy it pre-ground like I did. And then you're gonna add in two and a half tablespoons of water. Then just take one of your spoons, give it a good mix, and we're gonna set this aside for about 10 minutes until it becomes much thicker. Next, I'm going to make the vegan parmesan, which is amazing. You are gonna end up putting this on everything you eat because it's just so tasty and delicious. So to a blender bowl, I'm using my Nutribowl today, you're going to add some cashews, then we have nutritional yeast, and this is going to give it the cheesy flavor. Don't be scared to use it because it is so delicious. Then we're going to add in some garlic powder and some salt. We're gonna close up the cup and then just blend this up until it is fully combined and it's all PC like Parmesan. So now we're just gonna transfer the vegan Parmesan to a container so you can just store it in here and use it whenever you need it. So we're gonna close this up and you could just store this in the fridge and now you can begin making the vegan cheese filling and it's gonna be amazing. To my blender cup, I'm gonna add in lemon juice, tofu, nutritional yeast, some fresh basil, salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, and a quarter cup of the vegan Parmesan. You might need to give this a good shake in between just to make sure that everything's getting incorporated. Now you're gonna add in about three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, so once the filling is ready, we're just gonna put it into a bowl because we have a few more ingredients to add to it. So next we're going to add our flax egg to this and you can see it got so much thicker. And so just dump that in. And finally, some chopped spinach. Now this is optional and you can use really whatever vegetable you like. So if you like spinach, add spinach. If you like mushrooms, you could put in some sauteed mushrooms. You could do anything you like with this. I do like chopping my spinach so that it gets evenly distributed as well. Once your filling is all ready, just take a plastic bag or a kiting bag like I have here, and we're gonna transfer all the filling into it. And this is just gonna make it 10 times easier to get the filling into the manicotti pasta. And now you can just tie it with a rubber band so that it doesn't open and all the filling doesn't fall out. And if you had a Ziploc, you would just zip it up like you would a Ziploc. At this point, we're going to set this aside and begin cooking the manicotti pasta. Now, I recommend cooking the pasta right before you fill it with the filling so that it doesn't have time to break or anything while it's sitting and cooling off like in your strainer. Because I found last time I made this recipe that because I made the pasta like two hours before I filled, the po before I filled it with the cheese filling, they ended up like getting flat because they're cylinders. They ended up getting flat and breaking. So this way, when they're freshly made, they stay intact and they're much easier to fill. So I'm gonna go get my pot and my water and get cooking the pasta. I just cooked my manicotti noodles in my actual kitchen where there's a stove and I just boiled them in water for four minutes and then I drained them and rinsed them and now they're ready. Now I use this jovial gluten-free manicotti and I bought it at Thrive Market 
and tell you, Thrive Market is like the best thing that's happened to me this month because they have such awesome deals on such amazing, gluten-free, healthy, dairy-free products. So I'll leave a link down below so you can go check them out. They are awesome. So I have these cooked and now it's just time to assemble the dish. So first off, we are going to spray a nine by 13 inch pan with some cooking spray. The first thing we're gonna do is line the pan with half of our tomato sauce. Now let's set this aside for a second so we can fill the manicotti. So now let's finish off this dish with some more sauce and we're just gonna spread this out just until it covers all of the pasta. And lastly, we're gonna to top this off with some extra vegan Parmesan cheese. So just take some and sprinkle it on top. I just covered the pan with some aluminum foil. I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes, and then we'll uncover it, let it bake for another five minutes, and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. I took the manicotti out of the oven about 45 minutes ago and I've let it cool for a bit and I took some photos of it and now it's time to eat it. And I am so happy to be eating this now because I barely ate anything today because all I did was film YouTube videos. So this is honestly the best snack at the end of the day. It's so good. This is just amazing. You guys have to give this a try. I'm so excited to eat this later in the week. I have to save it because we're serving it for Shavuos, which is the Jewish holiday coming up. So we're serving it then, so we have to save it for our guests. But I wish I could eat the entire pan right now because it's just so good. So give it a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if you want the full recipe with the measurements and the instructions, you can head to my website, it's rainingflower.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. I also want to mention that you could sprinkle some vegan Parmesan over your piece so you have some extra cheesy flavor but i forgot to do that as you can see i already finished my piece and i just put this away before my entire family and i eat it because we have to serve it to guests so i will see you later bye